Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We are pleased to present our first speaker, Andy Lynn, with CIRCOM. Please give him a warm welcome. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andy. Uh, I'm the director of Platform Partnership from CIRCOM Corporation. And uh, I'm here to talk about how CIRCOM and AWS jointly present the next solution for smart home and building services. So uh, being an ODM, CIRCOM probably isn't a household name. So that's why I'm going to give you a very quick background of who we are, what we do. So we're founded back in 1992 and became a public company in Taiwan in 1999. And, uh, since uh, then, we've been, grew, uh, we've been growing, and right now we're a $1.3 billion company. And since 2017, we've been shipping at least 25 million Wi-Fi devices on an annual base, occupying about 20% of the global enterprise access point uh, market. And on top of that, we're also uh, one of the main hardware providers on IP cameras, uh, low power sensors, IoT gateways for, uh, for a lot of uh, tier one uh, service providers. And uh, our confidence for providing the robust product and service doesn't just lie on the longevity of our business, but also backed up by a couple successful stories from our valuable clients and business, including Comcast, ADT, AT&T, Sprint, and Cisco Meraki. And it's actually through working with these tier one service provider and system integrator that we realized the pain point if any new companies would like to start their own smart home or uh, business monitoring business, they would like to take, at best, 12 to 18 months of the time frame to uh, launch a new product uh, and, and services. And um, it is with the help of AWS that CIRCOM uh, will be able to help smoothen things out and accelerate the whole process. So our value proposition today is that if any of the companies that's sitting and listening right now would like to start their own smart, uh, smart home and uh, uh, business monitoring services, we can help them reduce that product launch time frame from 18 months to approximately six months of the uh, uh, period in, in, in length. And uh, with that bundle, we're able to provide a video surveillance as a service that includes uh, auto-scaling video storage, two-way audio and live streaming with low latencies, device management with our proprietary Wi-Fi diagnosis as our uh, background lies in uh, Wi-Fi routers, access point, and LTE. Uh, we're perfectly situated to provide uh, uh, the most real-time information of uh, your field operating uh, device's good health in good time. And last but not least, uh, we're also going to provide the user authorization management functions as part of the bundles, all with the purpose of a flexible integration architecture that's going to be deployed in your own cloud. So what does that entail? First, we provide IP cameras, whether it's do well, battery or always on LTE or Wi-Fi based, we're here to help. You can customize and select the platform that you would like us to develop upon. And second, we provide an IoT gateway. IoT gateway is uh, Zigbee, Z-Wave, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth compatible. So again, uh, we have a wider length of portfolio for our company uh, and, and partners to um, manage and, and uh, select the best um, and most suitable uh, option for their business offering. And we also have a uh, third one, which is uh, mobile IoT devices. Uh, that will be a perfect companion for uh, the other sm uh, small business and smart home offering as uh, our co partner can uh, start launching their personal tracking services and other uh, LTE and mobile IoT-based devices in their business lineup. We also have a low-power IoT sensor, which is going to directly communicate with uh, the IoT gateway and camera that's, uh, that I've just mentioned to talk about in the previous slide. And most critically, and at last, uh, the IoT cloud, which is the main platform that CERCOM collaborate with uh, AWS. And this is, this is where we are going to help our customer and client reduce that time to market from 18 months to six months. And how do we do it? We actually collaborate with AWS Solution Architect to define this next generation of the uh, architecture that consists of six different microservices, ranges from device and user management all the way to um, uh, uh, video service functionalities. And we pre-bundle 
these uh, the solution with the devices that you purchase from Circom. So gone with the need for you to replace your existing system with something that's brand new and you're not familiar with just to spend time to bring up and then further impact your, uh, your time to market and uh, product launch. After you purchase the device from Circom, we will uh, provide the solution in a format of a Docker image for you and our other valuable customers to deploy in their own cloud in parallel with their current systems. So you only need to directly interface with either one of the six microservices that's most suitable to your business offering and that's going to complement the product and hardware that you just purchased from Circom through regular RESTful APIs. And despite, uh, after deploying the entire solution, uh, you're going to put up all of the six, uh, six microservices in your own cloud. Uh, through uh, AWS Lambda, you're only going to get charged for only the computational resources that you utilize. So there's no hidden cost from uh, adopting the whole solution. Starcom is first and foremost a hardware company. We're not a solution provider. Despite it might seem like a solution provider kind of a gig, but we're really here to help and empower our uh, client to uh, reduce that workload from designing everything from ground up to probably just focus on the key differentiator that's going to help you stand out comparing to your custom, uh, co competitors and uh, um, other hidden threats in your business. So here's a high-level architecture of our hardware from the camera side. Uh, the Circum will take care of all the camera drivers and uh, uh, help you monitor the camera health and security uh, and abstract the Linux layer to uh, embed AWS IoT SDK and KVS agent first um, so that once you deploy um, the devices and start provisioning in the field, it'll seamlessly talk to microservices that we just talked about or the mobile application or web application uh, that contains uh, the similar SDK. Uh, the best part is we also open up an extra layer of customer application for our partner to develop your key differentiator using AI analytic uh, or uh, uh, other uh, special secret sauce on. So camera is an extension of the cloud. People are used to deploying uh, very uh, high level and, um, well, sorry, from not high level, uh, very specific, intelligent, and sometimes computationally heavy uh, analytic solutions on the cloud, but now the device itself acts as an extension of that, and everything will seamlessly talk to KVS and the IoT core in the process of bringing the device, uh, bring the data from device to the cloud and vice versa. And in, on top of the camera, we also provide an IoT core, and should you choose IoT core from Circom, you enjoy a similar uh, convenience that came out from the collaboration of AWS and Circom itself. Uh, so, as usual, we take care of all the hardware drivers, uh, abstract Linux layer, and we pre-embedded IoT Core SDK inside of that. And since uh, IoT Gateway doesn't really need any videos, so uh, we cannot leave the KVS agent out from the picture in this time. Still, uh, our partners and clients will have the freedom and leeway to uh, leverage our customer application layer and start writing your own vertical specific uh, analytic and AI modules on top of our uh, hardware and uh, products. So uh, this is the architecture of how, we, how we're able to bring our device from local to the cloud. Uh, our camera and sensor will talk to AWS IoT Core through uh, MQTT message and all the critical message will be queued up and sent through AWS Lambda through AWS SQS and inside of Lambda, it's a then based management system. Uh, we're now able to uh, redirect all the um, messaging data and services to the relative AWS uh, functions and services such as KVS or um, uh, uh, the other uh, uh, components should you choose uh, based on the most suitable business needs. And uh, with that, we also add uh, API gateway in the back end, and that brings us to the next uh, half of the picture which is, as a third party, how do you interact with devices that's already in the cloud? And similar to what I discussed uh, with that solution blueprint, uh, with the help of a API gateways, any third party mobile application, web application, or admin portal can talk to and view the status in the cloud 
through regular RESTful API. So there's no need for any company to start tinkering their uh, web interfaces just to match with uh, the device firmware interface or vice versa, because that's going to take a lot of time, overhead, and communication. And especially in the field of smart home business offering provisions, uh, regularly it's going to take at least three parties, uh, one SI service provider and an ODM, and that overhead and complexity will only snowball as time goes by. So with this new architecture, we're able to simplify and streamline the whole process and communication uh, uh, pipelines in order to bring the best and most efficient development experience to our valuable customers and partners. And at last, uh, with that concept, we aim to reduce the workload for our clients from designing everything on the picture to probably just focus on their user experience and uh, focus their uh, business, sorry, focus their engineering resources and bandwidth on de uh, developing the key differentiator in their own business. And you can leave the rest of the grunt work such as scalable video storage, uh, live, view, live video view with low latency, two-way audio, and uh, over-the-air firmware upgrade and provisioning uh, in addition to device management to both AWS and Starcom. And at last, confession. <laughs> it is not the first time that Starcom intend to develop our own video cloud. We try to do it in the past in a more monolithic architecture kind of way. And for every partner, potential partner that we actually talk to, despite they will have some interest, it's always going to be two or three of the, the features that was uh, presented in the previous slides. So from device management, user management, authentication, all the way to video and uh, other messaging services, they probably already have a two to three of that, that components in their own current system already. And if, if they would like to use Circum's old architecture, they would like to start from scratch. And it is because of this reason that the whole concept were mostly killed in the middle. But with AWS, we're now able to enhance that experience, allow our customer who have any interest in any part of the, the whole solution offering to just choose that particular fe feature that they need in their current business offering and allow that flexibility and the freedom to scale in the future. And not only do we provide this flexibility and convenience to our uh, valuable partners, we can also help them save operational costs at the same time. Well, for take an example of video service. If a partner would like to use uh, a constant video recording uh, kind of provision in their business offering for their uh, own users, we can help them save 4% of the time. I know that's not a, not a big deal, but for most of the cases, the video surveillance as a service require probably just clip event, event clip based of, kind, uh, of recording. And with that kind of business offering, we're able to help them save about 50% 50, 50 of, of operational cost based on the uh, assumption that there is 100,000 of camera deployed on the field. About 25% of them will be constant video recording. Uh, each one of them, uh, if each one of the user will probably view uh, 10 clips per day, 20 playbacks per time, and each clip will occupy 2.1 megabytes by average. The constant video storage uh, uh, size will be approximately 90 gigabytes, but that's usually not the, the most common use cases. With just event clip storage, one just need uh, one gigabyte per month for each users. So with that kind of premise, the company, as opposed to building everything from ground up by themselves, were able to help them save about 50% of the operational cost. And lastly, being a global company, because we're, we're not young anymore, <laughs> But the perks that come with the age is that we have a footprint throughout the whole world. So wherever, wherever you are, whether you're in Europe, United States, Asia, Russia, Moscow, or Middle East, we'll be here to help. So uh, that is everything that Sircom brings to the table. Hopefully, you guys will find a valid proposition appealing. And again, we have light demo right over there in the IoT, uh, IoT connected booth. So uh, please stop by. We'll be here to talk about more. Thank you so much.